Ye kızı. It's not always bones, it's tissue, it's eggs or something. And yes. What about those things? Because I always wondered when they when I read about the tissues that are found, cells or something, how are they preserved, I mean? So we're starting to find more and more skin on yeah. dinosaurs, or at least impressions of skin. Mm -hmm. um, recently, I was working on an Allosaurus, um, and as they were working on it, they started to see a pattern on some of the matrix around the skull. Mm -hmm. As we started looking at it, really looks like a pattern of skin. And then we found skin on the neck, on the shoulder, on the side of the animal, on the legs. Um, it's not as beautiful as you might like it to be, mm -hmm. but it also comes with a residue. So the next thing that we're really chasing on this is possibly figuring out whether or not we can get at color. Mm -hmm. We can't right now. No yeah. pigments, right? That would be give you the color of feathers. Mm -hmm. That would be interesting, yeah. yeah. But we can't give you the color of leather yet. And it's possible. It's possible. Just like our skin, you know, it's got melanin in it. Yeah. They have the same thing. And yeah. So how Figure. often how often does such findings change the way how we imagine some dinosaurs? Because for example, velociraptors we had in Jurassic Park and the real one are two different things. <laughs> totally different yeah. <laughs> things. Yeah, a, a lot of differences between those animals. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, as we learn more, you know, some of the most iconic yeah. dinosaurs were the dinosaurs in, in Disney's Fantasia. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, that's, that's the first time people saw dinosaurs moving around and reconstructed and fleshed out. That, you know, I mean, not absolutely but by and large most of the people in america general audience dinosaurs through that through that movie mm -hmm. and it was horribly wrong but beautiful yeah. and an amazing thing bringing these things to life you know jurassic park was an amazing thing bringing these things to life you know in some ways the last installment of jurassic park did some really nice things and corrected a lot of things mm -hmm. but still you know there's always problems yeah, but uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you're not making a movie for paleontologists, but you're Absolutely. making, yeah, you're making a movie for us. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? Yeah. So, so one of the things as Jurassic Park has gone on, remember, I know we're not supposed to talk about movies till later, but <laughs> when Jurassic Just... Park came out in 1993, nobody knew that dinosaurs had feathers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I read no that. evidence at all. Right? Archaeopteryx has feathers, but dinosaurs don't. Yeah. So, so then two years later, we get the first hint of feathers. By the time we get into the middle of the series, we actually know that Velociraptor actually had feathers. Yeah. Because we have two, two animals trapped together in a fight. They're called the, the dueling dinosaurs. And it's Velociraptor fighting with Protoceratops. Velociraptor has its arms in the guts of Protoceratops, and then Protoceratops is grabbing his other arm. He's got his claws in its belly, but they died there together fighting as a sand dune collapsed in on them. Mm. Wow. But this bone right here on the edge of the arm of Velociraptor has little bumps going down the ulna, and those oh, are yeah. only for the attachment of flight feathers. So we actually know Velociraptor itself had long feathers on its arms. Could not fly, mm -hmm. but it has feathers. Isn't that the, what you just described amazing? I mean, for history to move its way, you know, if that didn't fall, if they didn't fight at that moment, perfect, you, you would never discover it, basically. That's crazy. Yeah. And, and we discovered it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, how many times did that happen, you know, back then? Mm, yeah, point zero zero one percent, and and how many times do we find everything that happens? Way no. even less, right? Mm, so phenomenal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I feel so. I mean, the the other thing about Velociraptor is, you know, this is the skull of Velociraptor. Mm -hmm. You know, if you had some work boots and a stick, 
he's probably not too afraid of this animal. <laughs> yeah, it's not the size that it is in Jurassic Park. Yeah. It's not the Terminators. <laughs> yeah, they're basically. No. So I mean, this is its claw. I mean, it's big. You wouldn't want to get in close with that animal. But the same year that Jurassic Park came out, they found Utah Raptor here in Utah. Wow. And this is the size of the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park. So at some time, much earlier than Velociraptor, there actually was a raptor out there that was the size of those animals. Mm. Now, at the same time, it doesn't bother me that the raptors don't have feathers because it's an iconic character of a movie. Yeah, it's yeah. basically... I, I don't want them to make Velociraptor into this tiny thing that doesn't look anything like Velociraptor in the movie. Yeah, the, the character. Let's leave it alone. We got our feathers with Pyro Raptor in the last movie, so yeah. it's all good. We stay genuine, uncensored, and unscripted, and we always will, as we have to order our usual. Share us, subscribe us, and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Because all.